whether you want to get into great shape or learn a new sport, rowing with the Genesee Rowing Club might just have to be your resolution now that we're into spring. Don't worry, it's not just for people who are on the crew team in college. Anyone can join up and learn how to row. And today we're going to be talking with the rowing director for the Genesee Rowing Club. And we're going to talk about the Learn to Row classes. You're starting up next month in April. But Will Green is here. He's also the coach for the women and men's team at the U of R. So you come with a lot of knowledge, but you're really trying to spread the sport, aren't you? Yes, we're trying to expand to a uh, demographic to include adults yeah. and uh, really push the sport among the older. I hear, yeah, people. women particularly are really latching onto this. Why is that? I'm not sure. I think they're more willing to try something new. We seem to have about a two-to-one ratio of women coming out for the sport compared to men. Huh. Well, and I asked Will, you know, is it, good, is it okay for your back? Because I worry about that for myself. But you said, really, it strengthens the back, and it's probably not so tough on your knees like running would be. Right. We get a lot of people that are actually rehabilitating from knee injuries and back injuries, and the back is basically used to support uh -huh. the body as opposed to being a primary mover for the sport. Right. Well, it's kind of fun to watch, and we see the boats going down the canal all the time. But there's a, an issue we ought to talk about, the boathouse. This is where you store the boats because look at that lovely picture. It's a brand-new facility, but if you notice, there are no lights. <laughs> so this causes a problem, right? We're trying to do two things. We're getting a generator so we can light both internally and externally, and we're going to put some exterior lighting to make it a safer environment. We're in part of the park that's not used very often, so we're trying to brighten up the corner of the park right on the corner of the intersection of the canal and the river. Right by the Genesee Valley Park in that area? Yes, and it's right under the uh, flyover for Interstate 390 where it crosses the river. And so this is when you're doing stuff on the river, but we saw some indoor shots there. You do the classes all year round in the indoor facility in Pittsburgh? Well, when we can't get outside right. in the months, typically between November and March, right. of course we could this March, Yeah, um, that's when we focus on our indoor training to prepare us for the season. Yeah, we were over the U of R yesterday. We saw, it was probably yes. your team yes. uh, out there on the water. <laughs> okay, so there's a big fundraiser tomorrow. We've got to tell everybody about that because you're trying to get at least $12,000 for those lights. Yes, we are. And uh, we're actually having a fundraiser featuring, in addition to food and beverages, we have Rochester's Yellow Jackets, and because oh, yeah. the university is one of the prime tenants in the new boathouse, um, they have a very vested interest. And one of the university's rowers is a member of the Yellow Jackets. Ah, and, uh, so they'll be singing a great entertainment. And, and it's coming up on Saturday. I want to tell you all about it. It's at the Blue Heron Hills Golf Club, which is in Macedon. And you can just show up at the door and, and pay your way there, right? Yes, starting at 6 o'clock, tickets available at the door. Great, and we linked up the information at WHEC.com. Also information about those Learn to Row programs coming up in April, so you've got to check it out. But thanks so much, Will, for joining us, and good luck with the season. And thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll be back after this.